captain oh captain yes today we are selecting both our captain and vice captain before we get into a little bit of transfer news and of course today's game as we kick off our season so first of all we've got our captain to select now i agree with our assistant on the choice of casey castle at the moment to be our vice captain but Liam Evans as the captain, not so much. He's narrowly in the team. I think a better choice would in fact be Dante Leverock. Plays in the exact same position. Yes, he's four less on leadership, but in terms of team, he's much higher. He's got seven more on his team, and thus it makes up for it. He's got a combined 22 compared to the combined 19 of Liam Evans, and I think he's a better player. He's more likely to remain in the team, and thus it just makes more sense for him to be our captain. So we're going to make Dante Leverock the captain at least for this season, and Casey Castle the vice captain. So let's apply that and let's get on over to those transfers. Okay, so as you can see from the big list behind me, there's quite a few transfers in, but the really big transfer, I would say, is the one person going out, and that, of course, is Antoine Russell. He is going to be dearly missed. I'm disappointed we couldn't keep Antoine Russell, but, of course, our players are all on amateur contracts. So, Bradford City decided to snap him up on a free transfer, and I think they have done a great bit of business signing Antoine Russell. As you can see, he's gone and got himself a nice little paycheck, 1100 per week to go play over in Bradford as you can see from his history he's been at the club quite a while in fact he got 10 goals in seven games just the other season 21 in 13 prior to that and 9 in 8 prior to that now it's not his first time in England prior to coming to us he was on loan to Mickelover he was at Ixton even prior to that and prior to that he was in the United States playing for Bermuda Hawks but of course he kicked off his career at Danby Danby Dandy Town Hornets of course so that is his history he's now jumped all the way up to League 2 and I think he is going to be a solo player coming off the bench for them hopefully he can go make a lovely career over in England I'm just disappointed we couldn't hold on to him as you can see, though, we've got a few to go through. So, first of all, we have London Steed Jackson. We've already looked at Jago. Steed Jackson, though, 25 years of age, two caps for Bermuda. He's two and a half star, three and a half star potential. Yes, he's on a star player contract. He's going to get mad, but I just wanted to get some depth. I got everybody we could get in. We are creating an army of players. Some of them are going to get upset. They're going to leave. That's okay, but... We've made sure we've got plenty of depth and this guy is one of them. In terms of his history, there isn't a lot to look at. Just be a, a Wanderers for a couple of seasons. We then have Mr. Bean, as I'm going to refer to him. The 33-year-old, 18 caps, 3 goals, 3 star, 3 star potential. Now, he's an important player and as you can see, this is why. He has had quite the career. Started off at North Village Rams, went to America, to Bermuda Hogs. A lot of our players who were bringing in have been to Bermuda Hogs by the looks of it. Ottawa Fury, he then went to Somerset Eagles as he returned back, went back to the United States for a couple of seasons, then came back to Bermuda for free at the Village Rams, then went to BAA Wanderers, again another team it seems like a lot of these go to. Lewis Jones, he is actually from the British Virgin Islands. Yes, we've got some foreign players in. Now, he's 25 years of age. He's got four caps so far, as you can see. Could play all the way across attacking midfield. Three star, four star potential. Going to try not to go too much depth because of how many of these players we've got to cover. But he's from Lansing in the United States of America, where he's played one singular game. Now, next up is Damian Ming. This guy... A little bit on the older side, 41 years of age, 40 caps and 7 goals though. Two and a half star, two and a half star potential. He is an important player. He's on the decline, but as you can see, this guy brings in plenty of experience. He's played here, he's played for Barnets, weirdly. Maidenhead, Aylesbury, Hayes, Northwood, went to America for a long time where he played for Bermuda Hogs. Went to Dandy, I want to say Danby. Dandy Town Hornets for a long time and now he is here. 
We then have Bascom. Bascom, he is a central midfielder, 27 years of age, played 12 games for Bermuda. Two and a half star, three star potential. As you can see, he's been here quite a few times. Started off here, he went to Hogs, came back here for a long time, went to BAA Wanderers, and now he has returned for a third spell here at Robin Hood. We then have Ferbert. Now, Ferbert is a 21-year-old, as you can see, can play across the entirety of normal midfield and attacking mid as well. He's a lefty, three-star, four-star, maybe five-star potential, definitely a star player. He's from BAA Wanderers. We then go to Freddie Hall. Now, Freddie Hall is a goalkeeper, a 35-year-old Bermudan goalkeeper, nine caps, four under 20 caps. He's four-star, four-star potential. Probably our starting goalkeeper. I haven't had a proper look through everyone compared to each other quite yet. But as you can see, he played in the United States, went to Northampton. He's played three games in League Two. So, solid little player. Seven games in the MLS for Toronto. Then went to Burton on a free transfer. Didn't do anything. Dropped down into the non-leagues. Four games for Chester. Then went to Oxford City for a game. 21 at Telford. Then he went to Ireland and played for Limerick. For a good little bit got quite a few games for them but now he was available on a free and we snapped him up we then have aaron dennis now aaron dennis is a four star four star potential striker from the u.s virgin islands 27 years of age three caps for the virgin islands as you can see he's only ever played in the united states so it's going to be nice to see how he gets on here in bermuda we then have Tom Duncan. Tom Duncan is two and a half star silver current ability. Three and a half star goal, possibly four and a half star. He's only 16 years of age. This guy might have some potential going forward. I brought him in because I would like to get some depth going. I'd like us to get a youth team built. I'd like us to get a B team built. So he is going to be the foundation of that, or at least one of the pieces to the foundation of that plan. We then have... Too many Dill. I should have just called him Dill. But he's a 15 year old. Again, another guy without experience. Three star silver, two and a half star, possibly three and a half star potential. No previous club. Probably just a generated player to throw in the game. Same with Neil Codling. Codling. Why am I adding an L? Coddington. It's Neil Coddington. He's a one star gold. Two and a half star, possibly three and a half star potential. 16 year old, we've already started building a youth squad with those latter players. But we are not here for transfers, we're not here for the captaincy. We are here to kick off our season. And as you can see, we play in six days time against the PHC Zebras. So I will see you in the dressing room for that game in just a second. Okay, opening game day is finally upon us, and as you can see, there is a couple of other games going on. So the Cougars are taking on the Colts, the Rams are taking on the Eagles, but there is only one game we are interested in, of course, and that's the Zebras taking on Robin Hood. Robin Hood is going to hunt those Zebras, as you can see, 1-1. One, one. In fact, between the Cougars and the Colts, Jay Tucker getting a goal, and Smith for the Colts. Now, since we last met, i.e. the last section, we actually have another addition to the team and you're going to notice him on the bench in just a second. But first of all, we've got a good pitch condition. There's 566 people here out of the 850 capacity. As you can see, they want us to go from a positive to a cautious mentality, but we're not going to do that. I haven't set up any of our free kicks or penalties, etc. So that's going to be interesting, but we're just going to go with it. It. We're going to see how things go and our team for today is hauling goal. A back line of Baffer, Leverock, Evans and Castle. Central midfield is controlled by Steed, Jackson and Mr. Bean himself. On the left hand side is Ferbert. On the right is Ming, Goater in the middle and Dennis up front. A bench consisting of Simmons, St. Jago, Bascom, Jones, Nussom, Pitt and Duncan. Now, as you might have noticed, the last two are separating a striker from a defence. The last two are basically additional players to the bench who not necessarily are going to be sticking there for the long term. One of them being, I believe, is Pitt, is the new addition, I want to say. Is it Pitt? Oh no, sorry, I... 
I'm wrong. The new addition is low. He doesn't even make it to the bench. In fact, he's one of our youngsters, 16 years of age. As you can see, three and a half star silver, two and a half star gold potential though, and possibly up to a three and a half star. So it could get decent. As you can see, he's got great jumping reach. He's got great balance and his natural fitness is amazing. Everything else, pretty well rounded as well. Lacking a bit of flair, he's never going to be a captain or vice captain with his leadership and teamwork both being down on fives. But I think he could prosper into a pretty decent player. But for now, he is not in the team. The team is already set up. As you can see, a lot of them are going to be struggling for match fitness. Partly because I didn't get another game in between in the pre-season. And the fact that, well... We only train twice a week, so we're not going to be in the greatest fitness anyway. 42, I guess, for our goalkeeper. Our new striker can have 23, and we'll give our midfielder 21. Why not? So, submit those numbers, as you can see. A couple of players are okay with it. Gota's happy to make his debut, and so is Herbert. So, let's see if we can make a good debut for a lot of these new players coming into this one not going to pretend i have any idea what the standard of the other teams are like as you can see though we've got assistant recommendations because i got us some staff yes we have an assistant we have coaches we've got some physios now we've got staff coming in for the b team staff coming in for the under 20s i need to move players to both of those it's working out pretty darn decent on that front but we're favourites for a reason. Go out there and show why we are the favourites. Good recommendation from our assistant manager. Didn't go down the greatest. But they are rocking a 4 2 3 1. They've stolen our formation. Hopefully, it doesn't work for them as well as it works for us. I believe this is the first time we are using it, though, because I'm pretty sure in the previous episode, didn't I use a 4 4 2 simply because of the players we had available? And the fact we had to use pregens who played at midfield left and midfield right. But we're going to pop into this game and we are getting off to a start with a kickoff highlight in fact. Ball over the top. Dennis will get this one. Can he get past the defence though? He is dispossessed by Griffith. And he goes on the counter-attack, which doesn't amount to anything and allows me to actually put the league table up on this other section. So as you can see, 11 teams to get relegated. We, of course, have top of the league who becomes champions. And then everyone else is just upset that they don't finish quite as high as first. But Russell, he will pull it back for Raynor. Raynor tries a ball over the top, but Castle will collect this one. I would love for us to get a right back so I can move Castle up to Ming's position. But for now, he's going to do okay then. Dennis, come on, slots it in past Adams. But what a ball by London Steed. I'm not even going to try his full name, partly because I haven't memorized it yet. Steed Jackson, London Steed Jackson. Look at this through ball straight over the top. Dennis brings it down. Nice touch to bring it down, by the way, and then just slots it past Adams. It looks like he's been a pretty decent addition already. Warren, though, coming at the defence. Barfer's tackle will pass it to Bean. Simmons now gets the ball and plays it back to Leverock. Leverock tries the ball over the top to Mr. Bean, in fact, and he smacks it into the back row. Okay, I will take that. Hopefully our Bean is not that bad. Albine will play it back for Steve Jackson. And now Mr. Bean pulls it to Steve Jackson once more. Mr. Bean, lovely through ball to Dennis the Menace. It's over to Ming. Ming from range. Oh, the dynasty. Unfortunately, cannot keep it down. And it remains 1-0. Thanks to Dennis the Menace in front of their goal. 25 minutes in. We've still got a chance to extend this lead. Now we're suggested to add the opposition instruction not going to touch it right now. I think things are going perfectly fine. We don't need to change anything. They are the team that needs to be changing their approach. So we're going to keep it as it is. And Ming will take the free kick. 
Ming goes near post. Russell will nod it away. Ming will collect this one, though. What will he do with it? In fact, he pulls it back to Steve Jackson near the halfway line. He tries the ball up, but it's intercepted. Russell now on the counter-attack. Plays it back to Fairbet. Fairbet tries to get it up. Castle nods it down, though. He's given it away to Leverock. Simons now back to Leverock. Now to Rayner. Rayner over to Russell on this left-hand side. Probably going to pull it back. He does. Ferbert. Ferbert holding it back for Rayner. There's two minutes remaining in this half. Evans will intercept. It's now with Bean. Bean over to the Castle. Castle, lovely ball up to Dennis. Oh, nice touch. He's around the goalkeeper. Open net. It's 2-0, ladies and gents. He really is Dennis the Menace in front of this goal. I'm going to start giving these nicknames related to their last names. I think we're going to end up with Mr. Bean, Dennis the Menace, Ming Dynasty, and who knows what about the rest of the team. Heck, we might just have the GOAT with Gota in that central attacking midfield role. But for now, it is Robin Hood 2, Zebras nil. We've had nine shots to their three, four on target to their one, a 0.87 xG to a 0.24, zero corners to one, six fouls to ten, one yellow card to zero yellow card, 70% passing to 72, 50 50 on the possession. We do need to pick up our passing just a little bit, but besides that, you know what, lads, I'm happy with how it's going. You're doing a great job. Pat on the back. Let's crack on. Hopefully, we're not going to crack on with conceding a kick-off highlight. Because in both halves, we've had a kick-off highlight. Hopefully, this one... Okay, that was possibly the most pointless kick-off highlight we could have had. So, yeah. Can't complain with that too much, I guess. Didn't work out badly, but I don't particularly like seeing boring highlights. So, it also isn't very good. But Warren will play it across to Russell. Russell pa runs past Ming. He's now going to play it back to Ferbert. Nice ball over to Warren. He's got space. Oh, lovely save by Hall, but unfortunately it falls to the bean. And they've pulled a goal back. Hall, my friend, you've got to push it out of play there. Don't push it back in front of your own goal. That was your mistake, and it was capitalised on by them. 60th minute, though, I think we should be okay still. Evans pulls it across for Leverock. Would like to get that two goal lead restored, though. Bean will collect this one. Bean, play it over to Ming, perhaps. No, he's trying it up to Dennis. Dennis nods it down for Ferbert. It's intercepted by Jabari. It's now with Usher, of all people. Okay, we've got Usher against us. Interesting. Now, Warren. Warren plays it back for Leverock. Leverock tries a ball over the top. It's through to Bean. Can he get himself a second? It's saved by Hall. Ooh, assistant thought he was offside, in fact. Interesting. So, 63rd minute. We're going to make some substitutes. Now, as you can see, Leverock, he's having a decent game. He's on a yellow card, though. I don't think we'll want to risk him. Jago is a decent player. I'm going to trust you, Jago, to come in, make a good performance jago this is your opportunity utilize it please we've got a 6.3 out of our bean right now our bean is struggling so what we're going to do is probably bascom who can go here okay so go to bascom bascom you're just sliding straight into there my friend everyone else is going to be left untouched go to having a 6.4 he is also struggling interesting Jones, I think we can bring on Jones. Dr. Jones, Jones calling Dr. Jones. Hopefully he can cause a tidal wave of Aqua and destroy their defense. But Bappa will throw it into Dr. Jones. It's now over to Steed Jackson. Dennis the Menace down for Ming and the dynasty has got off to a great start. He's got himself a goal in this one and it's 3-1. Lovely goal from the Ming Dynasty. Baffer playing it to Steed. Steed again coming provider. Yes, Dennis will get the assist on that one, but it was just a little nod down from a beautiful cross in from Steed Jackson. And we, we are looking good. Very good. Evans though plays it short to Bascom. It's now with Ming. Castle making an overlap if he wishes to use him. He's going to use him. He whips one in. Oh, it's Dennis the Menace. He's causing havoc in that box. Unfortunately though, the shot is off target. And he does not get his hat trick quite yet. He's stuck. He's stuck on that brace. Can we get Dennis the Menace a hat trick? 
hopefully Dennis the Menace can get his hat trick because I think he deserves one after his performance so far. Ming though will whip in the corner, back post, Reyna will nod it away, Gota for them will now come on the counter attack, ball over to Warren. Warren has been in the middle if he wishes to use him, he plays it across to Bean, can Castle get a block in or at least clear it? Oh nice block by Castle, Ming now coming on the counter attack for us on this right hand side, he has Castle in support, Bascom in support and Dr Jones above him as well. Tries to go straight to Dennis, that was a bad choice and now thompson is coming at us he's got past evans oh nice save by hall come on hall beautiful effort jabari will take the corner though four minutes remain in this one evans also on a yellow card that's worrying me a little bit thompson keeps the ball in play ming gets a tackle in or just let him kick it up and hall will collect that works out in the end not how we wished it to go but we now have a little bit of a shell Throws it in to Warren. Warren coming at the defence. Nice tackle. Dennis is now on the counter attack. Can he get past Griffith now? Oh, lovely tackle by Griffith. It needed to be. It was in the box. He almost gave away a penalty. Ferbert, though, coming back at them. Lovely ball up to Dennis. Now back to Bascom. Bascom, can you do anything with this? Plays it across to Castle. Castle coming at the defence. Will he whip it across? He does. Back post. Ferbert cannot get onto it. And Jabari will come on the counter attack. There is four minutes of additional time. Baffer has won the ball back. Dr. Jones now over to Bascom. Lovely ball over the top to Dennis. Can he get a hat trick? No. Adams makes a save. And we have a corner. The dynasty will be the one to take this though. Whips it in. Ming, back post. Dennis, it's gone wide. Dennis, I don't know how you miss it that badly. But that was your opportunity to get your hat trick and I think you've thrown it away. Castle though will throw it in. Dr. Jones, Jones, calling Dr. Jones. Gets it over to Bascom. Into Ferbert. It's nodded away by the one and only Usher though. And we... We'll have to settle for a 3-1 victory here today. The best performer, of course, goes to Aaron Dennis with that 8.6. But as you can see, it was a good all-round effort. The only really disappointments have been Angota in this one. As you can see, 17 shots to 8. 6 on target to their 5. A 1.95 XG to a 1.54. 2 corners to 3. 13 fouls to 19. 2 yellow casts to 0. 74% passing to 74. 51% possession to 49. So, let's head to the dressing room. Well done, lads. And let's, let's go see when our next game shall be. What games do we have coming up? Okay, so there's a home game against the Cougars. Dandy Town Hornets after that away from home, I think. Dandy might be the one to come back for. I think it might be a good idea to skip over the Cougars unless the Cougars are a good team. I would like to play the better teams, I think. So let's just have a little look. So yeah, Dandy is the next in line is away from home it's a big game whereas the cougars down in six it's a game we should really be winning we should definitely be beating the cougars as you can see though look how disgusting our team is in terms of the key players for this league look at this we've got freddie hall in goal not sure why it's red but we've got freddie hall we've got baffer we've got castle bean gutier dennis and Musum. like We've got a lot of players in this team. But I thank you all for joining us. I hope you come back for the next episode where we will, of course, be catching up on our game against the Cougars. And then we'll be taking on Dan D, not Dan B, as I like to call them, Town Hornets. So I hope you all have a lovely night and goodbye.